Hey friends, welcome to Ivy's Torturous. I'm Ashante, your reading friend, and we have Elbert in the Air by Monica Wesolowski and Jerome Pumphrey. But before we get started reading, because I haven't read this book, so I'm gonna be excited to read it with you, we're gonna get our friend's fingers ready and sing our welcome song. Ready, set, go. Hey there, friends. Hey there, friends. Welcome to Ivy's Fortress. Hey there, friends. Hey there, friends. Welcome to Ivy's Fortress. I'm glad that you are here with us. I'm happy that you're near. Come along. Well, our adventure, it'll bring you lots of cheer. Hey there, friends. Hey there, friends. Welcome to Ivy's Fortress. Hey there, friends. Hey there, friends. Welcome to Ivy's Fortress. I don't know if you can tell, but the weather it's changing a little bit it's getting a little cooler and it's making my throat very raspy so i hope that you can still hear me clearly i'm not as loud as i usually am and i'm not as perky and upbeat because my voice is just giving me such a hard problem but that doesn't mean we stop reading we just keep going it's just these stories won't be as pumped up as they usually are but nevertheless they're getting read and they're getting read with passion okay so Albert was born to float. Literally, living in the air isn't always easy. But with some help from his mama, Albert learns it's not his job to change. True friends will find a way to reach him. You see how she's getting up on a ladder? If you float, then you just gotta find friends that will wanna float with you. You don't have to have the skill to do such. Just the will. Albert in the Air, written by Monica Wesolowski and illustrated by Jerome Pumphrey. This is published by Dial Books for Young Readers. Shortly after he was born, Albert floated into the air. Oh no, forgot my reading glasses. much better. Soon his mother had to stretch to reach him. When people heard she stood on tiptoes to feed him, they came from all around to give advice. Net him like a butterfly, suggested one neighbor. Reel him in like a kite, urged another. Deflate him, insisted a stranger, like a balloon. Some of those sound painful. The Elber was not a butterfly, nor a kite, nor a balloon. Elbert was Elbert, and when he cooed in the air, his mother merely said, if Elbert was born to float, I will let him. As Elbert grew, he floated higher. Soon his mother had to climb the furniture to reach him. All day long, she tossed in toys, which Elbert used to build a floating world above her head. Look, Ma, he exclaimed. Fantastic, Elbert, she replied. And for a while, it was. But Elbert grew and grew. And when he outgrew his toy world, he somersaulted out the window to spend his days playing by himself above the yard. But one day, he just hovered. Even on my birthday, he sighed. No one else is up here. Don't worry, his mother said, climbing a ladder with his cake. I'm here, now make a wish. So Elbert did. And while he waited for his wish to come true, he shared his cake with some squirrels. Yum. The next day, Albert spotted a group of children starting school. Look, Ma, he called. 
I'm ready to join them. But when Albert entered through the classroom window, his teacher called for help. Assign him bigger books, recommended the librarian. That's a disgrace to librarians. <laughs> Issue him heavier shoes, prescribed the nurse. I don't think nurses like that answer either. Glue him, dictated his sector secretary, to his chair. These answers are trash. No matter what he tried, Elber didn't fit in. His tears felt like rain. But when they tried to send him home, Elber's mother certainly shook her head and said, if Elber was born to float, you should let him. Elbert soon learned to fold his schoolwork into fancy paper airplanes to land on his teacher's desk. At recess, he caught the highest balls and tagged his classmates with his shadow. Fantastic, Elbert, his mother said. And for a while, it was, but Elbert grew and grew. And as he grew, his distance from his classmates widened until he couldn't join their game no matter how he tried. <laughs> to keep him company one night, his mother climbed a fire escape. Just be yourself, she soothed him, and you'll find friends. Then she handed him a bowl of popcorn big enough to share. Look, Ma, he cheered, spying a shooting star. Fantastic, Elbert, she replied. Make a wish. So Elbert did. And what did he wish for? The next day, Elbert carried his wish all over town until the crowd complained he was causing a commotion. Anchor him like a boat, preached a bus driver. Hook him like a fish, growled a dog walker. Forbid all floating, demanded the mayor, and arrest him. <sighs> My goodness. So much for community here. Fortunately, Elbert was Elbert. No hook, no anchor, no law could bring him down. So when his mother scrambled up a crane to defend him, he bravely reassured her, don't worry, mom, I'll just float higher. But as he rose and everyone drank, Elbert's heart grew heavy. Uh-oh, what's wrong, Elbert? Just then, something nudged him. Dearest Elbert, be yourself, but take this picnic with you. Thanks, Ma, Elbert cried, blowing down a kiss. And with that, he floated higher and higher, high enough to find The world he always wished for. Dearest Ma, climb this rope. And it was fantastic. Be in. This book is dedicated to supportive parents everywhere, including my own. Agreed. I've always been a quirky, radical kid, and my choices never really harmed people, but they made people uncomfortable sometimes. And it was outside of their normal actions that they had to deal with in building relationships with others. So I found myself either alone a lot or in many different friend groups trying to figure out who were my people and if you have supportive parents and you have people in your life that lives that love you and cherish you and care about your wholesome well-being then embrace them because those are the people that are going to encourage you to be yourself and if the person around you does not encourage you to be who you are meant to be then maybe it's time to look for new friends or somebody else you feel should support you. 
but it's okay to be who you are as long as you're taking care of yourself, inspiring others, and not hurting anyone. Well, let's read about our author and illustrator. Monica Wesolowski has written books for both children and adults, including Leo and Leah, illustrated by Kenneth Park, Pack, with Elbert, Monica wishes for a world where she, where we all feel free to be ourselves. She enjoys being herself in Berkeley, California, where she lives with her husband and two teenage sons. Read more at monicawesolowski.com. Jerome Humphrey studied graphic design at the Art Institute of Austin before joining the Walt Disney Company, where he worked as a graphic designer and then as an art director. He now writes and illustrates children's books from his home in Clearwater, Florida, where he lives with his wife and three children. When you know who you are, nothing can keep you down. So just know who you are, be comfortable with it, and grow your skills and habits and reach the heights that you feel like you can reach, not what everybody forces on you. Well, that's all I have for you guys for today. Catch you next time. Bye.